Greetings and salutations everybody. Welcome back to the channel and a fantastic new video today that I have for you. We're going to be checking out Dyson Sphere Program. This is a game that a lot of you out there have been asking me to play, try it out, see what my thoughts are of it, maybe do a game video series on it. And uh, I've just been a little bit reluctant to do so. A couple of different reasons. A, I would have had to bought the game myself. Uh, B, I wasn't sure how much time I would have to put into that, having to do Satisfactory, Planet Coaster, everything else I'm kind of working on at the time. Um, just wasn't sure if a new game was right for me right now at the moment, but um, I was checking out PC Game Pass and all the games that are available on there, which, you know, speaking of which, there's hundreds of games available on PC Game Pass, and I highly suggest checking that out. You can get your first month for only a dollar, and it's only $10 a month after that. Like, literally hundreds of games. Very well recommend that. So, yeah, anyway, I was checking out the games, and I happened upon Dyson Sphere Program being available in PC Game Pass. So I was like, oh, sweet, I can actually try this out now. So what is Dyson Sphere Program? Well, from what I gather, it's a, a game about a vacuum company who uh, decides they want to explore space, I guess, in the future. So they build a spacefaring program, and uh, I guess they just want to build a giant vacuum in space. Just kidding, it actually has nothing to do with vacuum cleaners at all. Well, I mean, I guess sort of, since space is its own vacuum, but that's beside the point. Um, the Dyson Sphere is actually a scientific theory, I believe, about building a giant megastructure around a star in order to capture all the energy that could come off that star. Like, tons and tons and tons and tons of energy, more energy than you know, we've ever seen before, as far as I read. I don't know, I don't really know all the scientific-y things around it. Science exactly wasn't my forte in high school. It was more geography and history, things like that. But it's a factory building game. So you set off and, you know, you start your little colony and stuff and you start setting up your machines and then eventually you build your own empire among the stars. Uh, and eventually we'll build this giant megastructure um, in order to uh, send the energy back to space or back to Earth or something of that nature. I think that's the theory behind the game from what I can tell. I've played it a little bit, but I haven't really gotten very far into the game because I get so just a little bit into it and it's just like the tutorial stops. So I kept thinking, well, am I doing something wrong? What's going on here? Is it just not letting me continue on because I'm, I'm messing something up and not doing what it's want me to do? Um, so I decided I'd check out some videos that other people were doing on the game, maybe see what I'm missing. And uh, yeah, from what I can tell, it just stops there anyway uh, until you just kind of make your own decision. So it doesn't exactly tell you what you need to do in the game uh, but we're going to figure it out together so let's go ahead and click new game now you do have a few different settings in here that you can set up and it makes it so that every time you play the game it's a little different it's not the same world every single time uh, you're, you're going to get your own galaxy and this it's kind of got seeds up here as you can see too cluster seeds very much like minecraft that's the first thing that comes to mind when i see a seed uh, so, you know, you can, if somebody else has a seed that you think is great, you can actually pop that in there. If there's a seed that you've used you really like, you can pop that in there, recreate it in your own game. Um, and then you can choose the number of stars, your resource multiplier. You can do all the way up to infinite, which would be like satisfactory in their nodes where, you know, you can just get infinite amounts of resources out of the nodes. Uh, or you could just do like, you know, one times, which is the normal for this game. Uh, and then once a... You have so much resources in a node, and then once that's gone, then you have to find another resource. I'm going to play it like that for the time being. You know what? No, no. I'm going to do infinite, because that would make it more like satisfactory, so the nodes never run out of stuff. Uh, it would probably make it easier for the video series as well, if we continue with the series. We'll see how it turns out. Um, all right, you can do sandbox mode. I'm not sure what that means, even though I could just look it up right there by clicking that cluster address. I, I don't know. Uh, there's tons of stars and stuff here. Um, let's just you know just go ahead and start the game from here, though. I don't know if this is a good seed or not. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll just find out together. Welcome to the actual universe. Wait, wait. You may the find actual this different universe? from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time? I am your advisor, and will help you through this mission. Alright, well, that is that is definitely a sun. Wait, can I fly into the sun? Can I fly at all? Am I controlling this ship? Yay? Nay? I don't know. 
everything I'm just gonna here let this is play yours. out. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Okay, so they want me to drive it. Oh, okay, I can control it, sort of, I guess. And we're gonna go to this planet, I assume? I hope they don't want me to land this thing, because I've played Kerbal, and uh, that now doesn't work out too well. To reach the designated planet. All right, so here we are on our designated planet, which we're going to export for all of our resources that we can. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. I'm just gonna gather a bunch of ore here until it uh, just tells me to stop basically or do the next now thing. Now try to recycle the space capsule. All right, that's right. right. We gotta on it to recycle. This. We gotta get the uh, the fuel canisters or whatever off of this. We're gonna need those. You can use the same operation to collect resources such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down Shift and right click to give a series of commands. All right, so we got a few things off of uh, you salvaging our ship. You several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Uh, inventory in the lower right screen. Oh, right there. Okay, so the giant box. Or I just hit E. E is easier for me. E for easy. Uh, Alright, so I've got some iron ore. I assume that's from uh, gathering over here in these iron veins. Uh, we've got some copper ingots. Middle button drag some iron ingots. Hydrogen fuel rods. To zoom and out. some magnets. All right, let's see. So then we can kind of zoom out, and then we can kind of move around on the map a little bit. Oh, what we got here? What is this? That is uh, stone veins. Oh, okay, stone. I assume this is copper. It's a very copperish color. So let's see what we got here. If we zoom out, and let's see. Was that coal over there? Yeah, we got some coal over there. This seems like a pretty good starting point, as far as I can tell. It looks like we've got most of the starting yeah, resources starting near me. The construction menu which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. All right, so the beaker here must be the technology tree or I'll just hit T. And uh, I think they want me to do, let's see, electromagnetism as my first one. So we'll activate that. All right, and then I gotta build these things here in order to go from there, well, I can get rid of these. So uh, I've read those things already. I kind of get the gist of the very, very basic starting stuff. I'm gonna grab some copper ore here as we uh, kind of open our construction menu, which is replicator is F. Okay, I need to remember that. So I need to make magnets. So I click on that magnet right there and then I click produce and I tell it how many I want. So we're gonna need like 10 of these, yeah. Uh, okay, so then I'll just click that, and he'll start making those. Apparently I can make stuff while I'm gathering, which is pretty good. Now, just like Satisfactory, we want to eventually try to get away from manually harvesting the ore, or like manually having to make our own objects. We want to make machines that would do all that for us, so... This guy kind of looks like Bumblebee, doesn't he? From like the Transformers movies? Not like Bumblebee from the cartoon Transformers, but like from the Michael Bay movies. So, all we need is some giant explosions going off in the background, and yeah, we'd have it. Uh, research result. Alright, so we have unlocked automatic mining machine, which will automatically collect ores for you. Of course, its capacity is limited. You may wish to transport these minerals to the smelting facility automatically. But well, we haven't even got a smelting facility, so, you know, how are we going to do that? You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. 
pick it up from the inventory, or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Energy is required in all mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Alright, supplying fuel. Um, there we go. Okay, I'll throw some hydrogen in there. Uh, I can build a mining machine. Alright, so let's do that. Uh, it's probably, I think it said it was in my inventory. Yeah. Alright, so let's start over you here with the ore. Key to rotate the mining machine and for we'll use R veins. to kind of... The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, Try holding down the shift. Would like to ignore grid swap snapping. Can I get all of these? Uh, not here, but you know what? If I go over to this, I could probably get a lot more, I think. Let's go over here. Uh, let's see. Six, seven. Uh, oh, look at that. Nine. Nine's good. I'm going to go with that. I think that's probably the best I've ever gotten in my multiple start tries of playing this game. facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Okay, so now I know I'm going to put another one down here. So let's try to put the wind turbine kind of right in the middle, right there. Insufficient required items. You can click the replicator button at the bottom right of the screen to open the panel and manually replicate these items. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Okay, so I can extend my power grid out by using Tesla towers. Okay, so we can totally do that. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Tesla tower. So if I move this over here, my grid is going to be over here, so I can put that. I don't want to put it in the back, because apparently that's where the conveyor comes out at. So we don't want to mess with that. Let's try just moving it. Uh, put it there. No, it's not powered there. I'll, I'll put it here. All right, so we'll just move it over there. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short-distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. And right about here is normally where the tutorial kind of stops for me. And, you know, it just doesn't really tell me what else to do here. This tells me to click on the Tesla tower and I can view the grid. So power grid information, I guess maybe can I click over here? No, okay. So the wind turbine is providing 300 kilowatts. Uh, this is transferring over to here. Okay, so at this point, uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to hold down control and left mouse button to fast take all the ore that's out that. Okay, so now I probably want to make another replicator machine, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so, replicator and buildings. Okay, and I want to make that. Okay, and I'm going to need some circuit boards before I can make any more of these. Some magnets. Can I make all this right now? Like if I just click produce. Yeah, I think it I think it is making what I need. There we go. Alright, so we have another mining machine. I'll take one of these. We'll put it over here. Alright, on top of this over here. That's not getting where I want. Uh, there we go. That's all the copper in there. That works for me. So I'll just go ahead and plop that down there. Uh, we're going to need some power over there, so let's see, I need to make another Tesla tower, yeah, okay, produce, okay, and yeah, it's right over here, alright, so we get off the construction screen if I can, I just have to exit out of that, alright, go over here, and if I put this here, I don't know, I don't know if that's a good spot or not, I have no idea how this is going to actually work, so we're just going to kind of go with it. Alright, and then we'll come back over here, hold down control, get all that inventory off, and alright, so I guess I gotta figure out what to do from here on my own. So, let's take a look at the tech tree, I guess, and we gotta open up more stuff. Uh, we can do metallurgy, uh, electromagnetic matrix, which unlocks the matrix, okay, and matrix lab, 
basic assembling processes. Uh, what does this do? An arc smelter and glass. All right, and this is what? This just unlocks. How do I get... Uh, oh, I can zoom out on the tech tree. Oh, there's a lot more stuff here. Um, basic logistics. Okay, that sounds like something I want. Let's, let's get that. All right, so I'm going to need some gears and some circuit boards. Okay, let's make some of those. Replicators, items. Going to need, what, uh, 10 of these? Okay, let's see. We'll tell it to make 10. Produce, and then I'm going to need some gears. So I can make some of these. So we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 gears. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so we'll make some of these. All right, basic logistics system is now done. You have unlocked automated logistics. The conveyor belt and sorter, you can use them to automatically transport the ores together in a mining machine for smelting or to load them into storage. All right, so now we can... You have received the oh, sorter. Oh, he's going to talk to me again. Belt, which can achieve full automation. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine. And the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. But we don't have a smelter yet, so I guess I need to make that. Um, all right, so let's go back into the tech tree, and is it this one? Yeah, uh, arc smelter, high temperature, arc smelting, can smelt ores and materials. Yes, we need this, so all right, we're going to need some more magnets, and we're going to need some more gears, so once again, we'll make some more gears here. We'll do 10, and then some magnets, and we'll do 10 of those. Okay, that works. We'll just kind of get these going here. All right, now we got metallurgy done. So the smelter, we can do that now. And that will make us ingots and stuff. So all right, now I think we have everything we need. So we can actually take and put conveyor belts on these machines. But we need to figure out where we're going to take these. So let's see here. Logistics, uh, conveyor belt. All right, now how does this work? Uh, do I need to make my own conveyor belts, I think? Yay? I don't know. Choose a starting position. All right, so here, and then, okay, I can just move that out, and then maybe up, I guess. I think first idea would maybe be to put maybe a couple of smelters down. Maybe that's probably a good thought. Let's put, uh, let's put one here, and I guess we'll put another one here. You built a smelter, which can smelt I did. basic materials. I built two smelters, such actually. Such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously you need to use sorters and conveyor belts okay that's fine let's just go ahead and put uh let's see let's go back to the belts and let's take these up and if i put collide with another object no i, I need you to, okay wait wait okay there i had to click on that and then go up and then will that go no I, wait, maybe it does. All right, I'm just going to put this down through here like this. A lack of item. I don't have enough items. Okay, maybe if I do this like that. There, now I have enough. All right, so we'll build these conveyor belts down through here. Oh, it's like doing something with the land. Okay. All right, so now I got to figure out how to put the sorter on here. So do I just choose the machine? No? Wait, yeah? Okay, and then, okay, all right. And then I just kind of click over here. And then he puts a sorter on there, and I guess that's going to sort that into that. Okay. I, I suppose that works. Um, next, I need to get this over here. Eh? Lack of item. I need to make some conveyor belts, I think. First, let's make another Tesla tower. Yeah? Okay, we'll do that. I don't know if I have enough to do that with. Okay, I did. All right. And then I'm going to put a Tesla tower here. Right in between these two machines somewhere. Sure, I guess. You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. Okay. After selecting How the do recipe, I do that? Oh, there we go. The Click on the machine. To copy the recipe. Please select your recipe. The I would like to make to iron ingots. building that needs to set the same recipe. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. 
Okay, I think I know what I've done here. Apparently, I've got the sorter backwards. Um, I think, anyway. Can I... I need to change that, I guess. So, dim dismantle this? Okay, there we go. I think that's correct. So, let's rebuild that real quick. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now she's working. Alright, so what I need are some gears and some ingots, I think, to make the uh, the conveyor belts. So, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go ahead and make, um, I guess, 10 of these at a time. Yeah, we'll make 20 of these. And then, that's the gears, okay. And then I'm gonna need some of these iron ingots as well. So let's go ahead and make, um, I don't know, we'll do 20 of those. And maybe that's gonna be enough? All right, now I can take this right here. We can run this down through here. Lack of item. Okay, and again, lack of item. So, do I need to make them? Oh, I do, okay, yeah. I didn't see this, but it's under buildings. All right, so uh, let's make, I can make a total of 22 of these. Let's go ahead and just make as many as we need, I guess. All right, so now I've got some conveyor belts built. Let's go ahead and put this up here. Now, I think I can hit R to kind of change these around. Can I, I hold shift right, and then I can put it anywhere I want. Yeah, there's no way to get that straight 100% there. So that kind of sucks, I guess. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get to being straight, and then I just move these down through here like this, right? Okay. Alright. Sure. Uh, and then... Then I need the sorter, so I click on that, and then have it input into that. And then I click on the building, and I say I want to make copper. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, ooh, this is full over here, so if I hold down control and left mouse button, and then I can get more of those. Uh, and then if I hit shift and left mouse button, I can make another one of these, right? I think. Oh, I can. All right. And then I can do the same thing over here. I can make another one of these. Yeah. Lack of item. Um, okay. I don't have enough to build that. Uh, I think I might be out of power too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm out of power. Okay. So we need to fix this. Alright, so I just built another wind turbine. Um, too close to another wind turbine. Really? So there's like distances I had to build these within? Okay, I, I didn't realize that. Alright, so what I did was I tore down my current wind turbine. And I'm going to try to build maybe a wind turbine farm down here. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I'll, I'll put two and maybe just kind of make them kind of this way. I might go four across and then another four down here if I need to. Yeah, that should probably work. Alright, but we do need to I guess fix the uh, I'm going to need another tower. So, let me make one of those. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, now we should have enough power? No? We still don't? Why? Alright, I think I'm just maybe using too much power. So I'm going to go ahead and plop down another wind turbine over here. And another wind turbine over here. Alright, that should connect all these up to power now, right? Now do we have a problem with power? Alright, we have no more power problems. Alright, that is solved. Um, I am looking at something down here, though, that I'm probably going to need to fix. And that is... I'm going to have to dismantle this right here. And move this over just maybe a one, possibly. Uh, well, actually, maybe about two squares. Also going to move this Tesla tower a little bit here out of the way as well. I'm going to put that right there. That should cover everything, I think. Then I'm going to run a belt that goes here on up to here. Right there. And now I want the output from here to go here. And same thing here onto the belt. All right, so now all the ingots are now going up this way. All right, so we're starting to get their first bit of automation going here now. And Icarus is now starting to run out of fuel. So let's see. What the, oh, there's that. Okay, lack of fuel. Um, what can I use for fuel? Oh, can I just use plants as fuel? Okay, I can do that. Won't last very long, but that'll work. All right, I'm going to make another one of these down here. Uh, nope, or no, I'm not. It says lack of item. What am I needing for that? Can I just put it down anyway? Yeah. All right, so we're going to clear out a little bit of trees here and bushes. Just clear some land up for the most part. 
Then I'm going to take and put a conveyor belt up through here like that. There we go. We're going to have the sorters come off of the constructors like that. All right, there we go. And now we have ingots and, well, we have uh, iron ingots and copper ingots now being produced. All right, so from that, next part is going to be we want to make stuff. So I need, I guess I need a building to make stuff. Uh, what is this? One of the five basic source codes that keep the center being simulated is the foundation of all scientific and technological research. But we don't need that. Basic assembling process. Assemblers. These have to be assemblers, right? All right, activate that. All right. Research result. Unlock the assembly machine Mark 1. You can make iron and copper ingots into more advanced products. By upgrading technology, you can get access to faster assemblers. Okay, so now we can make those. Uh, I guess I need to make a couple of those real quick. So we're going to replicator and is it the, these? Yeah, these right here, assembly machines. So give me two of these for now. All right, I'm going to try to figure out whether or not I need to put it here or if I need to put it here. I think... I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to move this one over here, like this. Alright, so then we'll have two of those. Uh, we're going to need some powers, so... I think I'll just put it like this, and then down. Maybe connect that like that. Oh no, that's going the wrong way. Oh, if I build it that... Okay. Alright. Didn't realize that. So I literally have to build it up like this, and then put it over that okay all right and then we'll do the same thing over here over to there I guess uh, then I'm gonna need a couple of these so we want to put it into the machine there and into the machine here uh, okay and then get some power here I will do it now I'll just put the power thing there then I need to select the recipe so over here what do we want to make? We want to make, uh, I guess, some gears. That seems to be a founding component there. And then over here, we want to make, uh, what is this? This Ooh, this needs both to make electronics. Um, well, I need electronics, so I guess I need to figure out how to put those into both. Huh. Alright, so my first logistical puzzle. I need to get not only the copper into this machine, but also iron into it as well. Interesting. Okay, so what if I do this? What if I take this? Can I just move another one up? Can I just split that off of that? Like that? Will that work? I don't know. Nope, it does not. Okay, so I need to make a splitter there, I guess. Or, or I could just do this. Let's just, uh tear this one down put a new one right here right all right and then let's put the sorter into that into this machine like so okay and then put the other sorter over here into this one all right now go back to this one tell it I want to make gears go back over to this one tell it I want to make circuits yeah I think we got it now, I was looking in the different buildings and stuff I can make, and apparently we also have storage units we can do, too. So, I want to make a couple of these. There we go. And then, the storage units I'm going to put... Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to put them here. Eh, you know, sure, that seems fine. And then I'll put the other one over here. Now I'm going to run a conveyor belt that goes up to here, like up this way. And another one that goes over here and goes up this way, and I'm going to need some more belts. Uh-oh. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen, or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Okay, now I should be fine, so I should just be able to build that up like that. And then we put a sorter from here into that, and from there into that. No connection, it says. There, okay, now I should be able to do it. Yeah, oh, back up item. All right, I'm going to need another sorter. All right, now, put that into that. Why is the connection not working there? What What is going on here? Okay, delete that, I guess. Move that up. Huh? Okay, and then... Into the machine? 
Oh, it says it. Hmm. Oh, wait. Does the sorter really not have power? Seriously? Alright, fine. I'll just delete that. And then I guess I need to move that up a little bit where it's actually catching that. Oh, if I put this right here, then it'll catch everything. I like it. Let's do it that. Okay, now, one more thing I need to do here. I need to put sorters, putting the machine stuff from the machines onto the belt. Like that. And from here, onto that. There we go. Alright, and so now we have gears going into this storage. And we have electronics going into this storage. Okay. Alright, so we just got the uh, achievement for Infinite Factory. Exceed a total energy consumption of, uh, what's that, 161? Uh, okay, or 1 gigawatt. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Right click to close. Let's get out of that. So the next thing I want to do before I end this video is I think I'd like to try to get some coal going in here. So I don't know if I have everything I need to do that. The game hasn't really told me anything about coal, but I do realize that that is coal up there, which is going to be good for uh, you know fuel and stuff and I am running out of fuel constantly and I don't want to have to keep using biomass so let's go ahead and plop down a gathering machine here yes all right let's see how much we can get out of that uh, seven six mm, seven seems good I want to go with seven all right and then I will take and run a conveyor belt all the way down through here uh, since our storage units are going here, this is fine. So I'll run that conveyor line all the way down to here. Plop a storage unit here. Then put a sorter into that. And then bring that into the belt. Excellent. Now we just need power up here. So let's see. Let's do... Uh, I'm going to need a couple of Tesla towers. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put some Tesla towers up here. So I know that I'm going to need at least one probably right here. Alright, and then... How far can I bring this down um, before it says, oh, I can extend it right to there. All right, that works for me. All right, so we have power up here on this now. Are we starting to run out of power? You know what? Yeah, I'm starting to see these lightning bolts, which means we're probably running short on ta on the uh, on energy. So I guess I need to make, uh, let's make a couple more wind turbines. I'll put one here and I'll put the other one right there and extend our wind farm. All right, so now we should have plenty of power for the time being. We are now making, uh, let's see, gears. We are now making electronics. We're making the ingots. Uh, we got coal going in here. I, I think we're off to a good start. And let's see, let's take, check the tech tree. What, what do we need next? Fluid storage. What, what do we get with this? We get storage tanks uh, and what is this, water pumps? Uh, high efficiency plasma control gets prisms plasma exciters that's exciting wireless power tower huh. electromagnetic drive what's that unlocks the basic power system component electric motor okay I don't know if I need that right now um, I should probably try to get maybe all of this though for the type B where is ther thermal power Semiconductor, smelting purification, electromagnetic, um, what is this? The electromagnetic matrix is the foundation of all technologies, one of the basic source codes that keep the center brain simulated. Use a matrix lab to create these matrices, a separate lab for automating research and new technology. Uh, you know what, I guess I need that. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, add it to the next thing we need to unlock, and we'll do that in the next episode, as long as uh, this video does okay, I suppose. In the meantime, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and hopefully I'll see you in another episode of Dyson Sphere Program.